She tried to tell me what she was. I didn't understand. So she showed me. Furious with her while I took it all in. I cursed her and left. Never really knowing what I was. I realise now how she must have felt. So here I am now. The mystery to myself. Is Lily dead? Clinically, yes. But honestly, I don't know. I suppose I'd have moved on by now if I didn't think she'd show up on these nights. So what I've got left to say to her. You do know your vampires, right? That's what Lily tried to tell me. But what I don't understand are the rules, and the terms, and the reasons some of them are at our throats claiming we're harbingers of the apocalypse. That's what I want to know. Why? Most of them just recently arrived in LA. Were chased off by the Sabbath or some such thing from their home cities. More in the dark than I am. They're a good bunch, but I've been through a lot. I hope you had better luck than I did. No one's been particularly friendly to me in this city. And we reason we're in Santa Monica because we haven't been chased out yet. Oh, we'd appreciate it. Oh, before I forget, name's E. Black-haired beauty over there's Rosa. She's the future, so she says. That nervous bloke is Copper. And when we can't speak so well's Julius. Kids gloves with her. They let it run. Yeah. Now that we got the mission from E here, we should probably get back to business. I really do like the new soundtrack they put in with the mod though, it's pretty awesome. So let's head up the stairs here, you know, go report back to Mercurio, so he knows we got the astrolite and whatnot. And then we're pretty much set. After that I'm gonna pay a visit to the hospital though. Just because it's a hospital. And I'm clinically dead. Yay. But yeah. Oh yeah, sorry about this. I kinda forgot where the hell I was going. I was all like, wait a second. <laughs> then I was all like, wow, I'm dumb. So I just decided to take the alleyway. You know. So you know. I'm running, going through the alleyway, doing my thing. Gotta love the alleyways. See a guy in a dark, secluded area. But I decide not to beat on him, you know. Just want to get to Mercurio's, make everything good. Seriously, somebody should clean up that blood, like, for God's sakes, man. Whatever. Whatever, just leave the blood there, okay? I don't care. Do whatever you feel like. Mercurio? Uh, I got the astrolite yeah. back. Did you waste those sons of bitches? No, that's not my style. Did you get my money back? Yes, about that. Well, um, no, I didn't find it. Sorry. Damn! I could've used that money to buy myself some new kidneys. Anyway. What am I supposed to do now? We need to make some place disappear. A warehouse. Looks to be a Sabbat interest. How do I find this place? Uh, there's a guy. I never met him, but I heard a lot about him. His name is Tong. Bertram Tong. He's one of you types. If there's anyone who knows more than me about this city, it's him. Unfortunately, Tong's hiding out at the moment. What? Why? Tong's laying low because of Therese. Therese Vorman, you know her? Anyway, word is Therese and Tong are feuding. I don't know the details. Mike takes that Tong thinks he's about to get whacked, so he's gone underground till Therese calls it off. If you want to put that warehouse into orbit anytime soon, you're gonna have to get Therese to call off the feud. Where can I find her? She and her sister Jeanette, they run the asylum. Some freaky customers frequent that place. I try not to do business there. Guess I'll go see her. Goodbye. Uh, yeah. Time to go visit the asylum. But then again, instead of visiting the asylum, I think I'm gonna go across the street into the hospital. For obvious reasons, they have a blood bank. Everybody loves blood banks, especially vampires. Or, you know, they also like Count Chocula, but that's a secret. That's why Count Chocula vampires never die. Because everybody loves them. 
Unlike Twilight, Twilight vampires can go burn for all eternity. Let's go talk to this random person. Oh uh, no, thanks, I'll pass. Yeah, I'm not getting interested in that. That's just stupid. She probably has AIDS, you know, vampiric, supernatural AIDS. And her blood probably tastes like crap because of it. Let's go talk to the nurse. Please, wait your turn and you'll be seen. I'll not be seen, nor will I wait. Alright, go on back. That's better. So let's go into this room. Oh, look at this, there's somebody on the table. Uh, please. That's some ugly clown Doctor. red hair. What's wrong? Ah, my insides, it hurts so bad. Obviously, you're bleeding. Hold on, I'll find someone for you. I'm sorry, sir, but you're going to have to wait outside like everyone else. No exceptions. But there's a girl See, over there. I'm the only physician here at the moment. We got twice as many people as usual waiting for treatment. I'll look at her as soon as possible. Uh, try to talk to her. Keep her awake. But... I've got a man in there with a bullet in his head. My nurse paged Dr. Roberts a half hour ago. He'll be here any time. Till then, stay with your friend and make sure she doesn't go into shock. I must go. Okay. Yeah, she's screwed. Look at all that blood. God, over dramatic much? Seriously, we understand you're dying. You can shut up now. Save your energy if you're dying. God, no one wants to hear you. Here, drink this and live. What? I, I, I don't have an evil way of saying that? I can't say, here, be my slave and drink my blood. I'm, I'm just messing. I'm not trying to be an ass. Vampiric blood given. Yay, I got a ghoul. And she gained supernatural powers or something like that now. Okay. You alright? You... Who... Who are you? Oh... What did you do? What did you do to me? Thing, I must be going now. Now that that's done, we should probably get out of here. But you know what, I'm gonna pick this door just because I can. Wow. Oh yeah, I forgot my lock picking sucks. Yeah, and I'm all like, oh, blood buff will save me, I can get into this room. But, you know, I forgot that they upped the difficulty, so... Yeah, that's not gonna work. But, since I'm low on blood, I said, well, you know, what the hell? This guy with a bullet wound in his head won't wake up, so I'm gonna feed on this guy. And if you look, the guy magically stands up and has a miraculous recovery as you're feeding on the doctor. I don't know why, but for some reason, he does. Is it possible that the sight of a vampire feeding is like Jesus and it can like heal the sick? If so, vampires should be doctors. That'd be badass. No, I'm just messing. That was a glitch. You know. I just like messing around sometimes. I do like the new music though in the little character sheet. So epic. It reminds me of dead babies who are being blended in a really loud blender and the people are putting ice cubes in as the babies cry or something like that. She's still smoking her cigarette. We're still running through this parking lot wondering why parking lots are so magical. I seriously can't get over how awesome those Serpentis icons are though. I just love staring at them. I can't wait to see how uh, the abilities are though. I hope they don't suck. So let's go in here, humanity. And I'm gonna let you guys go here. I'm gonna change some options. And then I'm gonna save and get off. So uh, thanks for watching guys. I hope to see you in the next part.